Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video I actually wanted to cover Terraform modules but I thought before proceeding let's actually look into some Terraform commands. So in the previous lectures we have looked into only a couple of uh, Terraform commands like Terraform plan that was one command that shows you basically what Terraform is actually going to do. So it will print out the plan like this so these are all the resources which terraform is going to add right this was one command and the other command which we saw was terraform apply so basically to apply our configuration we use terraform apply and apart from that i don't think so we used and we use terraform init yes so to initialize our terraform to fetch any new provider code we use terraform init right so i think these were the three commands which we use but if you see in the terraform if you just i mean if you just type terraform and press enter you get a list of all these commands right so there are actually some very useful commands in there so let's have a look at them one by one the first i'm only going to cover some important ones uh, you can look into the other ones so fmt is one command which i wanted to cover so it's actually very important command so fmt actually formats your terraform template so if i go to main.tf and what I'm going to do here is let's put some spaces over here put some spaces over here and I mean I'm just disturbing its alignment all right let's save this and if I run terraform fmt so you can see it has actually worked on my main.tf right and now if I do a cat on main.tf you can see everything is back to where it was in fact let me just do a vi so you'll get a better look so you can see it's everything is well formatted right so this is what terraform fmt does all right coming back let's see what's the next command we should look terraform graph so this is actually a very good command to see what terraform actually does behind the scene that is it builds a dependency graph right so i mean like i told you in terraform it doesn't reads from top to bottom you can define your resources wherever in a file you want whether you want to define a resource at the top or at the bottom i mean the dependent resources suppose there's an ec2 instance that is dependent on an iam role right so you can define the ec2 instances before and then define your iam instance the terraform will actually build a dependency graph before proceeding and it will know that it has to create an iam role before building the ec2 instance right and that graph you can actually print by running terraform graph so you can see over here that it has actually printed out the dependency graph it actually creates in the back end right that's another good command uh, coming back let's do terraform again and see so terraform import actually lets you import any existing resource which you have create uh, which you have not created using terraform so you can actually import that resource into terraform so that you can manage it via terraform that's actually a good command uh, then we have an output command so basically terraform output what it does output so if if i'm outputting anything inside my uh, terraform templates like suppose vi main.tf if i go down to output uh, uh, suppose i want to output the private ip private ip of my ec2 instance value equals it will be aws underscore instance dot my ec2 dot private underscore ip yeah so this is basically what the output so this is what i'm outputting so if i apply this terraform template now and then do a terraform output it will print out the private ip of that ec2 instance so i'm not going to apply that actually going to take some time so better off we'll just move ahead terraform providers so it actually prints out the list of the providers you have 
so let's just do that providers so if you see we use three providers aws random and google we installed when the first at the first go so this is what it's printing out basically so this is not very important command so i just covered it uh, the next command which i want to show you is terraform validate so this actually is a very good command that actually checks your terraform template for any syntactical error or any logical error in it. so if i do a terraform validate over here so you can see my validate uh, my i mean my templates don't have any error but if i go into my main.tf and suppose for this random if i delete this name and then do a terraform validate so you can see it showed me the error that on line number so and so i have an error right so this is actually a very good command and you should run every time you create a terraform template just to validate your syntax and your logic all right uh, let's just fix this before proceeding test let's see what else we have and the last command which I want to cover is workspace. So workspace, if you go up, there's a command called environment as well. So these are these two commands are actually used to segregate your uh, workloads. So suppose you want to manage your production, your dev and your test account, test templates in the same, say, uh, same machine, right? And you want to switch to different uh, workspaces or different environments. So you can use either terraform environment or terraform workspace so i mostly use terraform workspace i have never used environment so that is why i don't i will not talk about environment but i've used terraform workspace i still use terraform workspace so that's actually a very good command so let's so suppose i want to create different workspace for my prod dev and test right so i'll do terraform workspace new and i'll give the name prod so you can see okay so this workspace already exists so let's create another one let's say suppose i want to create for dev so it has created a workspace dev and just read this message you're now on a new empty workspace workspace isolate this state so if you run terraform plan this will not see any existing state for this configuration and let's prove that right so somehow what they said is not true you see it actually read the configuration from my default workspace right so if i do terraform work space list so i have three workspace default is where i do most of my work dev is this one which we created and prod so I'm not sure how it read this it shouldn't so let me just read what it did all right okay so maybe maybe I have done something wrong so uh, I'll come back to that later so if you want to switch the workspaces so just do terraform workspace and just hit enter and you will have the option select so select and let's say i want to go to my prod workspace so now i have switched to my prod workspace similarly i can go to my default workspace and this is actually the workspace i do most of my work but and if i do terraform plan over here this should work but i'm still not sure how all right and let's do let's switch to a prod workspace and let's do terraform plan over here okay so I'm not sure if it's getting from some cache 
so I'll check this out and I'll let you know why is it doing this or we could do, do one thing we can so it says let's see what it says that it says that refresh state will be used to calculate this plan but will not be persisted to da, 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 da. refreshing terraform state in memory prior to plan okay ah i think it was my bad so i had a main.tf file in the in that particular workspace right so it will work the plan will work now i didn't think about it so it was saying that if you don't have any terraform i mean plan already existing then the terraform plan will not work and that that is actually correct but i already have a main.tf file over there so running the terraform plan command in that particular workspace would work so that is actually dumb of me so no offense you tend to make actually such mistakes right anyway so yeah i think this was it uh, this was i wanted to cover in this video before moving on to terraform modules which is actually very important and modules are basically i mean like in any programming language you have modules to be uh, modulate or i mean have your modular code modularize your code basically so you can use uh, those particular modules anywhere you want and you don't have to like repeat yourself right so similar use is there in the terraform as well so we use terraform to write modules and we can use them in different environments say dev pro test you write one module so to create a vpc and you can use that module in your dev environment your prod environment your test environment so we'll cover that in the next video for this video this is it guys please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yeah thank you for watching